how to export data on ClickUp. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how we can actually go ahead and export our data from ClickUp. This is going to include the name of the tasks, the due dates, uh, the assignees, and also, um, I believe also the subtasks are going to be included and in everything. So let's just go ahead and show you how to do so. But first, I'm just going to go ahead and um, add a few more tasks here just uh, in case. So uh, right, test and I'm just going to add a few due dates here as well. Okay, and we are just going to add due dates just to show you that it's all going to be included. Uh, so I'm just going to add that and over here. Uh, let's just go ahead and add assignees as well over here. I'm just going to include the due date on this one and this one. I'm just going to leave it empty. Same goes for the assignee. I'm just going to leave them empty here. So how do we actually export the data? Now you should go to the project that you want to export the data from. Uh, make sure you have the tasks ready to go and everything. And then you would want to go to the top right corner of your screen and click on customize. From the customization tab, you will find at the bottom export view you should find this export view now this is going to if you click on it is going to give us uh, many different options to actually uh choose from here so for example what to export we have visible columns which is going to include everything that is visible uh, and then we also have the task names only so this in this case is just going to show us the task names uh, and then for all columns it's, uh, it's just going to include pretty much everything so I'm just going to go ahead and highlight all columns. And then from here, we can select the file format. It can be CSV or it could be Excel. Now, if it is CSV, you have these more options. If, uh, but if you uh, select Excel, it's going to be a lot less. Uh, for CSV, you can actually go ahead and change the date format. So whether it's going to be normal, ISO or POS6, uh, you get to choose whichever one you want. And also the time format. So whether it's going to be normal, uh, hours and minutes, or hours and minutes, and also seconds. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select Excel. And in here we have the total time and status, uh, current only, or total by status. I'm just going to go ahead and do total by status. So just go ahead and select the options that you think are suitable for you. Uh, and then from here you'd want to just click on download. And now it's basically just going to be downloaded for us here on the top right. And I'm just going to open it up, open it up for us to see. Okay, great. So this is pretty much the uh, Excel file that we just downloaded. And remember, I did select all columns. So this is why we have quite too many things to actually show. But if you uh, adjust your options properly, you won't really have all of these unnecessary items. But you can see here, we can see the task name status uh we can see the assignee and we can also see the due date on the right here um and we can also see a lot more stuff date created date updated updated and we also have the created by space folder uh and yeah so this is pretty much how to export the data from clickup hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching